All right, so today we are going to talk about the ternary operator, which is a great way to do some conditional rendering with React. All right, so subscribe and like if it's not done already, and let's go. So what is the ternary operator? For example, you do have a const toggle equal one and log toggle is true, question mark. If it's true, we return true. If it's false, we return false. So see that right there, const toggle is true because it's not null, it's not undefined, etc. It's not equal to zero. So the the console is ret returning true, actually. All right? And you will see that it's pretty useful to uh, render some classes, some class name, some uh, CSS, or even some content. So we do need some state. So import use state from React. Okay, and we are going to create that state const toggle and set toggle. Tanary operator are often used with toggle, so I'm just creating one. So right there, we are going to start with false. All right, so toggle is set to false, and we do need one button, for example, uh, with um, toggle inside, and then we do need one function toggle func equal. Whoops equal set toggle uh, exc exclamation mark toggle. So it will just reverse the value of toggle every time we click on that button. So we need to link it with on click equal toggle func. All right. And right there, you can log mash, for example, or uh, you can log update, update. And every time you will click on that button, it will just uh, change the toggle value, false, true, false, true, false, true, false. And it will just uh, update the component indeed, because every time you change the state, it will re-render your component. All right, so that's great. And that's the perfect way to try some ternary operator, to use some ternary operator. For example, with my container class name, I want to return container salmon if my toggle is true and if it's not i just want to return container so how can we do that we just go there and we open the curly braces and we say toggle is true question mark if it's true i will return container and salmon if it's false i will just return container and right there you see that it's set to false and i do have it all right oh yeah because I already clicked in the past, but if you refresh it, it will be set to dark because it just has the container class. And if I click on it, it will ju just toggle it with the salmon class right there. All right, so this is a pretty simple um, conditional rendering, but it's very useful in terms of animation, interaction, or even if you want to show or hide some content, it's really, really useful. So you always need to keep in mind that you can do that kind of stuff. But you can also render some CSS, for example. So style equal, and you open uh, four curly braces, and for example, hide, and you say toggle is true. If it's true, you set it to 400 pixel, and if it's not, 200 pixel, for example. And so now if I click on it, it will toggle both the class name right there and also the value of height. You see that it can be pretty, pretty nice. And it's not all, you can really use it everywhere if you want. For example, let's just imagine we have const txt equal toggle lorem or ipsum. And you can just um, put it right there, whoops, h1 and you just put it right there. Okay, so right there, I just have ipsum, all right? And if I click on it, I will have lorem, ipsum, lorem, ipsum, etc., etc. You see that it's pretty useful, and you can even just do it right there if you want inside the GSX expression, and you see that it's, it's very great. It's working too. All right, so this is a pretty nice trick and a pretty nice tool to have in your toolbox, I guess. And I hope I've helped somebody and well, see you next time. Bye.